Um, thank you. Uh, I want to join with the Ranking Member of Asia Committee and everyone else in Congress in talking about Dr. Afridi. I think the Pakistanis understand that you will give them the money whether they turn Afridi over or not. But I hope you convey that Congress probably won't. And next year, I would suggest Congress is much less likely to. So uh, what would happen uh, if we simply didn't provide the aid until Dr. Afridi and his family were released? Uh, we could reprogram that money to other parts of the war on uh, Islamic extremist terrorism and defend ourselves perhaps much more effectively than aid through Pakistan. Uh, have, what, would be the, have the, what would be the Pakistani response if we cut all aid until Dr. Afridi was released? Well, um, uh, Congressman, uh, first of all, let me say that uh, your message has been received loud and clear, and we will uh, indeed convey it as we have conveyed it uh, uh, to the Pakistanis um, on, on Dr. Uh, Afridi. Um, I would just uh, respectfully suggest to you that um, our assistance program um, is crafted to um, advance our national interests. I, but, but there are many things we could do with that money that don't involve giving it to the people who are holding Dr. Afridi. Your focus is Afghanistan and Pakistan. There are things we could do in the war on terrorism outside your jurisdiction that could perhaps do more to safeguard America and its interest. And the Pakistanis shouldn't think that we have unlimited resources, so we might as well spend them on anything that seems useful. I want to shift to uh, to Sind, uh, Doctor, uh, uh, or rather, Vice Chairman uh, Kehar Ansari uh, has been kidnapped, arrested. Uh, he is the vice chairman of the leading uh, Sindhi uh, party. Um, we've got. Uh, uh, assassinations that have not been investigated, including Anwar Lagari, uh, but also uh, uh, a host of others, da, uh, Mr. Dahir, Mr. Uh, Kal Horo, Mr. Hu Ha uh, Wara, and uh, uh, Mr. Ku Reshi. Um, is this something you are bringing up in Islamabad or just uh, uh, leaving to the Karachi Consulate? Well, um, with regard to uh, Mr. Ansari, I, well, first of all, our consulate in Karachi is is tracking this closely, um, uh, and but with the full support of our embassy in Islamabad. And have, have you have you personally raised Easter, either Mr. Lagaria's case or Mr. Ansari's case, uh, uh, Ansari's case? Uh, uh, well, to how high a level have you personally conveyed it to Pakistanis? Yeah, um, the uh, the Lagari case um, we have raised um, at the um, I, at uh, the provincial level, and um, so, so you case. personally haven't engaged with high level uh, with, with the top officials in Islamabad on these issues. Um, I have uh, no, sir. I have not engaged okay. on these. Uh, I, I want to go on to to to, to another. Uh, a question. The administration routinely uh, declined to certify that Pakistan is cooperating with the United States in counterterrorism against the Haqqani Network and others, and that it is not supporting terrorist activities in, against the United States or coalition forces in Afghanistan. Why is the administration unwilling uh, to make that certification? And does it make sense to just waive that and send them the money even if you can't make the certification? Um, Congressman, we, be, we believe uh, that all of the programs, again, that we are, uh, are talking about are in our national interest, and we have to balance the national security interests of the United States. Um, uh, uh, and, and but but can, can, you say that, can you say that they are not cooperating with the United States on counterterrorism and they are not supporting terrorist activities? What are the facts that, say, that, that make it impossible to make these certifications? Uh, we have long had concerns uh, about the fact that despite Pakistan having a stated policy of not discriminating against uh, between terrorist groups in the application of that policy, uh, they have in fact not moved against actors that threaten uh, their neighbors. And we have raised this with them 
uh, very directly, and we share the concerns of, that have been expressed about uh, the Haqqani network and also about Lashkar-e Taiba, Jaysh Mohammed, and other and other groups. My time has expired. Thank you. I don't want to cut you off if you have another question. <laughs> Madam Chairman, that would be a dangerous precedent okay, in this committee. Okay, you're right. All right. What was I thinking, Mr. Rohrbacher?